right, good morning. Uh, it's a nice, beautiful day right before the season starts here. We are in the Panhandle, Florida, Bienville Plantation. Got in late last night, and uh, today we're gonna do a little fishing with the Guggen boys, so. Yep. One rod right here. That's up. Guy right there. Yes, sir. Camera dude's Jerry in the What's back up? right there. Cam, camera dude. Woohoo! And the rest of these fools hanging out with these guys is always a treat, especially right before the season starts. So I don't know what this guy's. Grapefruit? Yep. No, it's not. LFG. It's, a, it's, no. A, it's, it's a palmello. What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. This is a palmello. You gotta skin it out. You gotta take a knife. You gotta gutty mouth. Play it. These guys don't jack around first thing in the morning. Get in there with your teeth. <laughs> Hector. Hello, hello, good morning, good morning. MDJ. One more palmello back, Absolutely. baby. Absolutely. One don't of the best the right there. The rest of the cabin. Matty B, the one responsible for all of this mess. Look at him going through all the stuff. Lunkers TV. What's up, buddy? Yeah, How you doing? What is going on? Jigging with Jordan. That's my guy right there. That's Howdy. my. You ready to my, blow stuff up? Absolutely. Soon? That's my artillery manager right there. Oh, look at this. I'm looking at him. Bob's getting into the good stuff here. So yeah, we are in Florida, so there are a lot of big bass around these uh, these Guggen weeks here. It's uh, it's all these content creators all together in the same uh, kind of space. So there's a lot of vlogging going on. Dean, the local pro over I'm here the guy. at I'm Bienville the guy Plantation, you around, showing you what it's all about. He knows every single Appreciate one of these lakes. Out. It's an absolute maze of lakes. A lot of big bass around, as you can see in the background. It's all trees. It's all lakes. And this dude right here, D Sizzle. What up? DC. What up? Absolutely money. I think we're gonna get a chance to fish together today. If not together, we're gonna fish against each other. So um, it's gonna be a huge day of promotions, fishing, the new dangerous swim baits gonna drop here soon, as well as a bunch of other Guggen baits. So that's what these things are for. You know, in the past, we've had riders conferences where we kind of meet up with like the outdoor riders and videographers and things like that. And it's kind of like speed dating where the pros would go to each outdoor rider and and you'd come up with articles and things like that. But nowadays, if you don't have a camera in front of your face, you know, it's just, you're just not, uh, you're just not getting it done. So that's, uh, that's kind of a behind the scenes uh, look at the cabin here. Bunch of influencers, a bunch of egos, a bunch of cameras, um, but that's what makes the industry go around these days. So uh, I'm gonna give you guys a behind the scenes look of how all this is taking place and hopefully we catch some fish today. So it's gonna be a long day, a lot of footage. A lot of fish caught. All right, things are real hectic around here right now. <laughs> We've loaded the boat full of Guggen terminal tackle, new slizzards, pain blade. I don't even know if you're allowed to look at those or not, but absolutely nasty vibrating jig. A little vibe jig with a dark trailer. Can't go wrong with watermelon red down here. Or bluegill imitators in these uh, sulfur, sulfur ponds. So, could be the big fish magnet. They haven't seen this. I don't know what they're talking about over there, but I doubt it's gonna work. You think these guys just sit around and make videos all day? Nope. Physical fitness, dude, that's huge. That's huge. Much respect when the cameras aren't rolling. Just wanna let you know, I just did that, yeah. I just grabbed a bait caster and put it on the swing. Oh, nice. <laughs> it has been a while, Bob. He hasn't fished in like eight months. Hey, real quick, boys. Like, what's the biggest difference between like a professional bass fisherman that grinds all year long? Oh, grinds in a different way. And, and you know, YouTubers. Like, what's the biggest difference? Like, in my opinion, these guys work Stop. just as hard yeah. or harder yeah. at, at their craft, right? 100%. Yeah, I mean, they, they I mean, catch bigger bass than us. <laughs> on, on, on 100%, because we go to dump holes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Y'all's elite schedule is pretty freaking legit. Yeah. MLF, we got to do better. Our schedule, <laughs> trash. Hey, my boy DC went off on a tangent. Yeah. He always do that. Anyway, no, they, they catch they, bigger they, bass. These boys go hard, man. And, yeah. they, and, and they work really hard on the craft, but they always yep. on the camera. Yep. They never put it down. They constantly make content. Bass dude. pros aren't in front of the camera. Nah, and, not hey, like them. In 2023, it's all about that, right? Hey, here's the thing, though. Yeah. So, like, we we have that same aspect. We uh -huh. got to do content, but they that's their sole deal. Yeah, 100. Everything yeah. we have our tournaments. We have tournament winnings and yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. But like, they have these Guggen weeks all the time. How many how many y'all have, Matt? Three, four, five year? No, well, big ones, big ones. But yeah. there's one every month, and then there's some one extra. Every so month, probably right? probably about yeah. probably yeah. about 15, 16, 17 up in there. Like I was Go saying, ahead. like as as a pro, that's we used crazy, to have like bro. riders. At least still have like riders conferences and things. Yeah. Like the not outdoor as, riders like, and stuff like come. Like Though. But like the value of that just seems like it kind of. Uh, right? Yeah, that, that media, the, the media's landscape has changed, bro. Changed. It's yep. straight up, it's digital. Yep. How you want to call it? Yep. YouTube, internet yep. based, whatever. 
That's and what it's it is. Real bro. content. And these oh, boys, it? these boys changed well, these, it these in, in a good, for in a good it way. Isn't, it isn't the, the the old days of hey guys, you see yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This right. thing's very unhealthy for you. Yeah. But we really like this Red Bull. It tastes good. Right. Forget those. Forget yeah. those. Yeah. 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 Trash. They're done. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. So, anyways, hanging with all these guys. So like, you know, combining the pro fishing thing with you know the pro YouTubers. I mean, yep. this is this is just awesome. And uh, I mean, that's just the way Good times, the industry bro. is headed. That's in it. My hey, and we get to learn firsthand. Yeah. From the best, from bro. These boys, yeah, absolutely. Man. Straight up. Yep. Hell yeah. So, you heard it from the pros themselves. Hector, I gotta be honest, bud. So I was trying to rush here for the Cowboys game. Yep. And I didn't get fuel. Yeah. <laughs> I literally have like, let's see, let's find out here. 24 miles till empty, so I don't know how far away this lake is. Three, three miles. Oh, it's only three miles? Three miles. I thought he said it was 30 minutes, though. It is, but it's uh, it's dusty road, so uh -huh. we're going to be going at a, at, a, at a low pace as to not kick up the the dirt. Dust, got it. Okay. Well, so, I'm running low on fuel, so we'll see if uh, we'll see if we make it or not. We'll make it there and back, for sure. For sure. All right, we just rolled up to one of these lakes here. They say this is the new lake, which means these phosphorus pits that are out here on on Beanville Plantation. They used to dig out these dig out these ditches here and mine for phosphorus. They use them in various products throughout the world. I don't I really don't know what they use it for, but look how pretty this landscape is. That's a pretty lake, man. They say it's full of fish. They say it's brand new. And Bobby Lane told me last night, pretty much every fish that he saw on his electronics he could get to bite because they literally have never seen lures before. So I think we're in for a treat today. All right, we just picked the teams here. Like one thing about these guys is they love doing challenges, whether it's catching a fish on a so-and-so challenge or it's a one versus one challenge, or in this case, it's a three versus three versus three challenge. I'm a team captain in one of them. We are Team Cinnamon. Why are we called Team Cinnamon? Because I got Hector and I got one rod uh, and all of us have that nice cinnamon colored skin, so. <laughs> We're against uh, two other boats out here today. And uh, that's one thing about these boys. They're always up to some kind of fun. They're always filming it. And it's just really cool to be a part of something like this. It's a nice little break from the, uh, like the hardcore tournament grind. And uh, these guys are always, always, always having a good time. All right, we're in the middle of one of these challenges here. <laughs> it's just a straight war zone going on in this boat. Just want to show you real quick. Look at all this. Look at this disaster. <laughs> It's a beautiful. Hey, let me add some, dude. Disaster. I'm adding some. Yeah. Take some flaming hots. Look at the. Yeah. Hey, here's a happy actually, trailer. Actually happy dance. Bike call, there like, you go. Three on that, uh, on that flaming hot. But during these shoots, uh, during these challenges, like it's the only thing that matters is catching bass, and that's kind of a parallel with what we do as professional fishermen. The only thing that matters is catching a bass. Our boats don't get quite this dirty, but <laughs> we tear up our boats pretty good too. So. All right, we just finished up one of these like uh, little challenges, a three versus three versus three challenge, and uh, it didn't go according uh, to plan. So there weren't a lot of fish caught. I don't even know who won. I think we caught like 15 or 20 bass. Uh, but there's one thing about these cats, and it's like anything goes. There's like no rules when it comes to like marketing or promoting the products. You could literally like be yourself, which is kind of nice. It really is because a lot of the companies I used to work for in the past, as far as sponsorships go, it's like, you know, they, they operate on like a set of rules and these boys, they just, they just, they literally just send it and they've been successful at their type of marketing over the last few years. So see what I mean? <laughs> Mike's back there fishing <laughs> on a whim. <laughs> Tell them what happened. I honestly just recorded a whole segment uh, and I didn't hit the record button. So, uh, and that's kind of a good lesson for me. Like you guys have been vlogging forever, um, but we just got done fishing and I just brought up, Mike, do you remember the last time we fished together? Dude, six years ago, yeah. New Jersey. Or longer. Or longer. Yeah. Mike Iaconelli's Pro-Am event. It was me, Lunker CV, got paired with yep. you. Yeah, that's right. I remember back then you telling me like, like the, the the key, and I didn't know who you were, honestly, dude, I'll be just honest. I didn't know who you were, and I had to like YouTube, like like search you guys, and you guys popped up, like quarter million subs or half a million subs, whatever it is now, and here you are six, seven years later with 1.6 million subs uh, on YouTube. You know, just for, you know, in my world, I'm, I'm used to dealing with professional bass fishermen, and you know, we, we show up on the TV and, 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 and certain websites and everything, but dude, like just five, six years ago when you yeah. searched 
bass fishing, we didn't pop up. Like, pro, pro, like Kevin Van Dam hardly popped up. But when you search bass fishing, Guggen, Guggen Squad popped up. You guys popped up. There's like five or six of you guys that popped up. And you guys obviously capitalized. But for any of like the up and coming pro fishermen or fishermen that want to make a career out of bass fishing, not yeah. tournaments, but yeah. a career out of bass fishing, what kind of advice can you sure. give these guys? Let me give you three key tips to break onto the YouTube scene. Yep. So like you said, six years ago, that's when fishing was skyrocketing yep. that's when you could get all the subs all the views like it's going crazy yep. now it's kind of plateaued it's going in a line like this uh -huh. it's saturated a lot of people are trying to break onto because they've seen our success they yep. want to be successful too yep. and do something they it'll love never be the same for a living it, it probably won't be the same yep. but that doesn't mean you can't take a significant piece of the pie right in order to do so you got to do a couple things number one you got to be consistent at least one video a week ideally two yep. then if you're a gamer like this guy in the back yeah. you want three videos a day which is crazy to me but that's what the gamers do but for the fishermen that's what youtubers should be doing if you're yeah. trying to break into into the new thing you have to outwork everybody else out there that's doing the work. exact same yeah. thing that you're doing sure. back in my day it was super difficult to grow because there was no community uh -huh. on youtube right you're talking 2006 2007 uh -huh. nothing existed so you sort of had to go up against just people discovering YouTube as a whole. Now there's so many people on the platform doing the exact same thing that you're doing uh -huh. uh, that it's it's just as hard as it was before. The consistent thing that you're gonna find is that is that hard work is always going to be the defining factor on whether yep. or not you succeed. Yep. The other thing, as Mike mentioned, being being consistent, but also being different. What I did the best, the best thing that I've ever done in my career is realize that I am not a professional Call of Duty player. Mm -hmm. Therefore. I still wanted to, and because of that, I wanted to still be a part of the uh, the, the gaming community. So I, I played to my strengths, uh, managerial, uh, more 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 personality based and not skill based, and yep. that set me up super good for the rest of my career. Well said, nice. bro. Yeah, and going nice. off of what Hector said, you gotta go off your strengths. Like I'm not a pro bass fisherman. I don't make videos given tons of fishing tips. What I like to do, I like to make entertaining content. Yep. And that's what's gonna get a lot of view duration on a 20 minute video you want usually at least 50 percent watch time so 10 minutes watched if not more if you can get more that's even better relatability exactly yeah. and for myself in order to be consistent and want to keep doing it this week after week day after day i like to make content that i personally find enjoyable because if i'm awesome. not enjoying it yeah. i'm not gonna want to keep doing like, it why even do it like we just got done filming a challenge you know and you kind of did the shtick you know the things you do you got the so the socks tucked mm -hmm. in everything you go wild when you catch a fish you know that's kind of shtick but but like you really enjoy doing this, and I think that's a huge key for any, any anything. Success in gaming, success in tournament bass fishing, success being a YouTuber, six, you know, success being a filmer. That's right. Uh, you gotta love what you do, and like literally, Mike just you know we just got done filming. Uh, you know the cameras were rolling and the cameras got shut off and he literally grabbed a rod went to the next pond over and just started casting around no shtick it's just because he loved doing it so that's a that's a huge deal doing what you love mm -hmm. and it's just awesome that you guys made an absolute career very successful lucrative career out of something you love doing so it's just interesting you know for all the tournament anglers out there, all the, 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 the competitive anglers out there, uh, there's still a future in YouTube. You just have to be very consistent and you gotta work your, your ass, ass off. And nothing's gonna be handed to you and you're gonna have to play every single platform. It's its own video game. YouTube has its own algorithm. Yep. Facebook has its own algorithm. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, you yep. name it. Like you have to, you have to mold and participate in that platform the way that that platform wants you to participate in. Right, I'm driving through the Bienville uh, cabin area here, and something caught my eye. A boat caught my eye here. A friend, I haven't seen in a, in a long time. We're gonna say hi to him real quick. I think he's on the phone right now. I I just had to come by and say hi to my buddy here. Look at this boat. This boat caught my eye. Mr. Bobby Lane himself. Look at that hot boat, dude. And that thing you will see on the Opens Tour this year, and he is absolutely my pick for Angler of the Year on that tour. <laughs> Bobby up, Lane, Bobby? dude. I, dude, How are you, this dog? guy is an absolute hammer stick. It's kind of a surprise when I ran into you here. I've never been to this Bienfield uh, plantation at all, but when I think Florida, I think of you, dude. And this is uh, it's a nice surprise to see you because I haven't seen you in a while.
It has been a while yeah. since since a lot of us are yeah. probably going to chat down the road. Absolutely. But what a beautiful place we're Pete, at here, I see man. You got a nice little uh, crappie jig on. I here. got a crappie yes, jig dude. on. Yeah, yeah you got to catch it. a crappie every oh, once in a while. I mean, why not? But yeah, uh, yeah cool. fishing's good. We've been having some fun. It's it's all good. How about you, dude? Cool. Yeah, just been hanging out. Like I said, I was just running uh, running through the campsite here. Just wanted to say hi. I think it's awesome. Did you awesome. catch some? Uh, we caught a few this morning at that new lake over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. caught a few little ones. And you could right. see him. You could see him on forward facing all, yeah. all day long. Made it stupid, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Technology's but, uh, crazy. Yeah. How's this Aldane's been? Good, man. How's, uh, no, we're how's doing trade? good. Is she healthy? Trace, everything's yeah, good? everything's yeah. She's doing good. She's helping with all the media stuff, and you know how it is. Like is she you're, fishing next you're year. You're here for me? No, she's not. She's she's okay. just hanging out. Just some team stuff and stuff like that. So. Is Chris in the classic? Yeah, uh, Chris is in the classic. Oh, boy. Yep. So uh, yeah, we'll how's see. How's Knoxville shaping yeah, up? Yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna be one of those ones. I it's just. It's, you know, it's a bank beater type tournament, I, I think. I don't know. Gussie won that tournament out, out fishing deep or smallmouth. But, but this is going to be my first classic that I will be at and not be. Dude, are you not be fishing serious? it? <laughs> hey, that's like a serious. That's like a crazy stat because, dude, I mean, like, you, yeah, you've been around for how long now? Like 16, 17, 18 16, years? 16, 17, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that. I gave 11 years to both, but in wow. between I was fishing the elites and some wow. of the, the first MLF cups and stuff like that. So. Wow. Uh, Yamaha's asked me to come be a part Good, of the Classic, man. Pure That's Fishing, T.H. Marine, Starbright. We're all uh, geared up. Be That's over there cool. March 20th through the 25th. Perfect. And you're here uh, fishing with Starbright here at Benville Plantation. I guess you Starbright, guys are... Starbright, yeah, Startron. Cool. We're doing uh, my new boat, like yeah. you said. I got nice. all my T.H. products on it. Cool. We've been going through those all week. I can't wait to get some nice. of this footage back and, and get Very it out cool. there. And show you the new cool stuff, yeah. man. Yeah, dude, you've been whacking them like always. But again, Bob, I just want to say... What's up, real quick? Because uh, I know again you're fishing the opens. You're you're going to be on the leads. I know in uh, 2024, no doubt. And you're my pick for AOI on that circuit. So one of the things not talked about often, professional bass fishing, is diet. Hey, boy. And this guy crushes it on the diet side. Dude, you got to right with all Man. the places we we go to all and the visit. Traveling, all the cheeseburgers you yeah, eat. Yeah. How many times we pass by McDonald's and we like it's the only thing. Yeah. We don't like, pass them up. We pull, we you pull got over. to, yeah. right? It's like the only thing. What do you got right here? Dude, right here. This is a pomelo, bro. This is wow. a gorgeous citrus fruit. It's hella good, man. And uh, last couple Where of years. Where are they from? I think some... they grow them right here in Florida. Oh, really? Yeah, Florida. Right they on. grow them in Cali, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, but it's just a it big. off, dude. It is, dude. Nice. Stick rind on him. You, you bust it's him like down. like a giant orange. That's Damn. exactly what it is. So look, I, I, cut, him. I cut him to where he... Uh, it just peels off in a little nice little nice. circle. You know what I'm saying? You get that. I don't eat one of these. Uh, dude, I get them from Publix. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then there's a little... Uh, Ooh, I smell that citrus. You smell that? Mm. Strong. You definitely yeah. need to try this, bro. Dude, you're in good shape, man. You're in really good shape no, for a tournament no, fishing. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah to, you are. I need to be in way for your age, shape, hey, for your age, like, you're doing hey, good. Hey, I ain't, I ain't crushing beers every night like Right, like some of those dudes, huh? Oh, but yeah. I see, I used to do that all the time and I was yep. a pro. Can't do it. Catch up with you, bro. Yeah. Hey, let me see Look at this. that, man. You, can, hey. you, might, you might can wear that Look or something, that, Mike. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always, always doing some silly stuff. Always doing some silly stuff. Damn. Hector, you using uh, my rod and my reel, but you absolutely tied that knot right there, right? Who doesn't believe you? Uh, Mark. Ma Mark. Huh? He tied that. I really he learned I asked him, right? He I'm learned like, that. I'm like, did you tie that? I'm like, that not FG only is that not. an FG, that's a damn nice looking that's one, That's a right? good one. And then he started telling me about his joint rolling skills, and then I was like, I was yeah, like, you know what? He probably blunt, really sir. did tie that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> then, it all like, man, yeah. then it it all made sense. I'm like, yeah, he rolled, yeah, yeah. He That's gotta be a good compliment, though. See, they're always cutting it up around here. <laughs> always. Hey, my boy can roll up. So when you're in a boat rolling four deep, and it's a flipping bite, these two dudes back here get the scraps of the scraps, of the scraps, and getting a bite back here ain't too easy, that's I mean, for I sure. I caught both of my fish from back there, though. You, you did, know, so. you did. We're out here, we're out here jacking around. The sun finally came out. We've been here two days now, and the sun is finally out. I was falling asleep yesterday. I was like, I was in that mode where you know how you shake. Yeah. Bro, I, I was, in my head, I was imagining uh, like that the boat came to a sudden stop, and I like, I like <laughs> fell, fell over into like my, my, my teammate, and I was like, ah, woke up with a 
Is it 288? Oh, 360. Hey, 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 hey. Box them out too early. Box them out. Box them out. Come on, come on. That's terrible cast. Damn. Terrible. Oh, he's jumping. He's still jumping. He's still jumping. fire, bro. Oh, my gosh. still jumping. This is what we've been dealing with all day. All day, dude. All day. This is that energy. This is it. It's some kind of energy. It's some kind of energy. It's some kind of energy. Some kind of energy. <laughs> Who's babysitting all these dudes? Do we need Wes, to, uh, do we need to keep the, the, the GoPros is, on? I guess. Wes oh, is definitely. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. because you're switching. That's Shenanigans. Hey. Oh, all right, these my boys are straight off. silly. Yeah, by your, I'm so your glad right, right by your feet. my boat's not here. Like this isn't my boat. Look at look at this disaster. Hold on. What about all these baits? All these dudes. Hey, that little gold hook. This is shirtless. Catching golden shiners. I gotta find the exact right pellet. Here, there's, there's a bunch right there. It's gotta be just right, bro. It's gotta be just right. It's gotta be just right. Yeah. I'm gonna go right. Got him! Oh, <laughs> he got his ass again! Wow. Holy s! Oh, you got bit, you got bit. This yeah, guy's yeah. gonna get this guy with the elite. Oh, this is Leslie right here. You guys are shallow. Set the hook! 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 Set the like, look at that thing. Snacks, brother. That's gold, a little bit of blue in there. Green, orange, orange. Kind of perch like almost. All right, just finished up dinner uh, with the guys here. And uh, wow, there's never a dull moment when hanging out with that crew right there. Uh, they work hard, they destroy a lot of stuff. Uh, but they, more importantly, they keep their audience entertained. Uh, and that's what it's all about these days. Uh, whether you're following me on my YouTube channel or following them, uh, we just want to see content all the time, right? So that's kind of my goal with these vlogs here is to keep you guys uh, engaged, entertained, let you know kind of what me, Trey, Johnny are doing on tour, on the road. Um, we still have uh, like 30 days or so before we have to be at our first elite tournament. So we're kind of getting uh, a lot of this stuff out of the way, hanging out with the sponsors, especially the Guggen guys. That was a whole lot of fun. But if nothing else, uh, hopefully you guys, you know, you were a little entertained. Um, and uh, I just wanted to give you kind of a behind the scenes look at what goes on in between the video shoot, especially with these guys. These guys are professionals. They've been doing it a really long time. So I'm learning a lot from them. Uh, as far as uh, delivering media on YouTube and various platforms uh, go. Um, but just like Hector said in his backseat earlier today, man, the harder you work, the more rewarding it is. Um, and uh, it, it absolutely shows with these guys. So always fun hanging out with the Guggen guys. Uh, so until the next time, you guys, uh, you guys take care. Uh, follow all the guys that were featured in today's video here. Like they are absolute hammers, hard workers, and just a good group of guys to be around. Um, so hopefully you guys like that little video. We will see you at the next one later.